Hello everyone, I am Purnima Jain and I would be presenting our work on an end-to-end -end complex valued neural network for case space interpolation in parallel MRI. Magnetic resonance imaging is a leading diagnostic imaging modality for a wide range of health disorders. But it has a limitation that it is an inherently slow process and requires the patient to be still in a confined environment for the entire duration of the scan. It is necessary to accelerate MRI scans to avoid patient discomfort. Parallel MRI is a method to accelerate MRI scans by using multiple MRI sensors or coils to record fewer observations, also known as case space, than required according to the Nyquist theorem. Thus, there are multiple coils and every coil is differently sensitive to a given region of the object. In a C-bar number of coils setting, the case space acquired by the IF coil can be given by encoding the underlying image G using a sensitivity matrix SI applying the Fourier transform operator F and applying an undersampling mask M. The GRAPA is a popular algorithm for solving parallel MRI. It estimates missing case space values by assuming them to be linearly dependent on the acquired case space values in their neighborhood. The coefficients of linear combination are learned for each coil from a densely sampled auto calibration region in the case space, which consists of low frequency components of the Fourier transform. The residual robust artificial neural networks for case space interpolation method uses a non-linear CNN to estimate the error in the Grappa reconstruction. So now, the missing values are not only a linear combination of their neighboring acquired values, but the sum of a linear and a non-linear combination of their neighboring values. But the residual Rake approach stacks the real and imaginary channels of the input complex valued case space and computes the real valued weights for each of the channels separately. We propose the complex R Rake approach, which computes complex valued weights for the case space channels by using complex valued weights in the neural network. We propose a novel activation function, the plane value on the complex plane. This is the complex R Rake architecture. It uses complex convolution. It is important to note here that a complex convolution utilizes 50% lesser parameters than a real convolutional layer of the same size. And our pl proposed plane value activation function is defined as follows. For an input x plus iy, it fires the input as it is if ax plus by plus c is greater than or equal to 0. Otherwise, it fires a plus b plus c by alpha times the input. Here, a, b and c are real learnable parameters of the neural network and alpha is a real hyperparameter that we set to 3. To understand the motivation behind our proposed activation function, we need to take a look at the limitations of existing complex valued activation functions. One popular complex valued activation function is the mod ReLU, which applies ReLU on the sum of the magnitude and the learnable parameter B. Thus, it is taking its firing decision based on input magnitude information only. Another popular function is the Z ReLU, which fires the input if the input phase lies between 0 and pi by 2. Thus, it is taking its firing decision only based on input phase. The third is the C ReLU, which applies the ReLU independently to the real and imaginary parts of the input. This leads to a distortion of the input phase. Thus, to address these limitations of existing complex valued activation functions, we propose the plane ReLU activation function, which is inspired from the real ReLU. The real ReLU divides the real line into two parts about the fixed point that is the origin. The plane ReLU divides the complex plane into two parts about a learnable line to one side of which it fires the input as it is and to the other side it fires a scaled version of the input. Thus, plane value fires without any pre-decided bias towards the input magnitude of phase information. Also, it does not distort the input phase information. For our experiments, we use two data sets and utilize Cartesian undersampling at an acceleration factor of 5. For training the models, we use stochastic gradient descent and the loss function is the sum of the L2 norms of the distances between the target and the non-linear path and the linear path. These are some qualitative results. On standard metrics SSIM, PSNR and NRMSE, complex RRAKI is outperforming RRAKI. This is a sample knee reconstruction. These are the quantitative results on both the data sets. The complex RRK approach shows either improved or comparable performance with respect to the baseline with 50% fewer parameters than the baseline. The performance improvement of complex RRK is attributed to the structure of its network. 
which respects the complex valued algebraic structure of the input, thus constraining the degrees of freedom in the neural network and assisting improved learning. The proposed plane value activation function shows promising potential for using complex valued neural networks. Thank you.